and we will get started with Anthony Chang. Go ahead. Hey, ma'am. I, I know it's there's more to basketball than this, but when you're struggling to make shots like you guys were in the first half, is it does that tend to spill over in the first to the other end of the court? How hard is it to kind of keep focus when you know you guys are I guess over fourteen on threes in that first half? I wouldn't say it was us making shots. I feel like we was playing a sparring game in the beginning of the game. You know, I feel like we was just running around, seeing who, who was going to make the first shot for real. Uh, and they got hot, and we did. So, you know, we got to come out with the energy we had when we played Milwaukee the second time. And I think we would have would have been a different outcome. And, and you guys bring so many guys back you know, with a lot of roster continuity, but does it feel like, you know, with all the different starting lineups, Jimmy missing two games, does it feel like you guys are still trying to find that continuity on the court this season, that rhythm um, yeah. that you guys want? Yeah, you got to think about it, man. Uh, we haven't been together that long, you know, to get back in the flow with each other. So uh, we just got to figure that out and, you know, do a better job of trying to get cohesive, co cohesive triggers. And, uh just play better together basketball. All right, up next we have Ira Winterman. Man, I know it's more than just a two-man rotation, but last year, their last season, there was a real continuity in that. You played the first half of the season next to Myers. The second half of the season, you played next to Jay. You guys knew who you were, what you were. This year, Spo was uh, cycling through a bunch. There's been Myers. There's been Andre. There's been Mo. Does that take time to build chemistry in a power rotation with the fours and the fives? And is it sort of like the, the answer you just offered to Anthony that that might be sort of a work in progress as well? Yeah. We're not going to figure this out, you know, in two days. You know, coach is, <clears throat> a coach is doing the best job he can, you know, figure the lineup out, but also, you know, make sure our offense is flowing and, you know, is doing doing what it's supposed to do. So, you know, I feel like we'll figure it out. We'll start. Uh, we'll, we'll get better together, and uh, we're gonna be all right. It, it seems like it's been really feast or famine with you guys, also. And I know you said it's not just about the three point shots, which shouldn't be. There's also sort of been some uneven play with the turnovers. Have there been many times this season through, I know it's early, through the, the four or five games where you said to yourself, hey, I think we've got it, or are you still waiting for that sort of dotted moment that you know you can build on? Thank you, Bam. We just, uh, we just got to find something that sticks to us. Um, that's bottom line. You know, coach, that, that's coach's job. You know, our job is to go out there and, you know, try to execute and, uh, you know, so with the power lineups and, and the lineups, that's up the coach. You know, we we understand uh, he's trying to figure it out just like we are. So uh, <clears throat> it's growing pains. All right, Bam, that's it. Thank you, man.